I was really annoyed with myself. Oh my gosh, this is so surreal. What an epic Welcome back to a brand new studio vlog. It feels like ages since I've spoken to you guys. I think it's been about two weeks since I filmed my last studio vlog. But I've just been super busy work-wise and also this past weekend I went to Centre Parks with my family from Friday to Monday as like a joint birthday trip for my mum and my nan which was really lovely. So I got back from there on Monday and it is now Wednesday the 17th of April. Today is a full day at home. I'm not teaching today so I thought I'll pick up the camera and film a day in the life studio vlog for you guys because I know you like to see some of those. I do have to nip out a little bit later on to collect a samba kit for my teaching job because I teach music part time so I have got to nip out and do that but that's the only thing I'm going out for today so it shouldn't disrupt things too much but I might take you along with me while I do that anyway and I might get some lunch while I'm out or something or nip to a supermarket to get some bits for tea so I'm basically bringing you for a full day in the life of what I go up to work-wise and personal as well so this morning I had a shower got ready as you've seen and took Otis for a really nice walk and I'm now sat down at my desk ready to get started I have quite a busy day today there's a few things that I want to do with you guys if you've seen some of my recent vlogs you'll know that I recently got gifted the HTV Ron Auto Tumblr Press and I've been pressing my own mugs with that which is really exciting but I have ordered some glass tumblers to try sublimating onto they're not the frosted ones that a lot of people I've seen are using I've just gone for plain glass and I've not unboxed those yet so we're going to unbox those together and see what they look like and try sublimating onto those. I don't have any designs yet to sublimate onto them so we're going to have to design something as well. I've also had delivered over the weekend while I was away a new market stall display so I do craft markets and then my craft market season is starting on the 4th of May is my first craft market. I want to switch up my display a little bit like my products have changed since I first started doing craft markets and I feel like like my craft market display is not fully showing off all the products that I have to offer so I've ordered a big arch wooden display and I need to paint that pink so we're going to unbox that later as well and give it its first coat of paint in the garage and the next couple of vlogs will be spent prepping for that craft market which is super exciting and I will of course film the craft market for you guys as well because I know you like to see some craft market vlogs too. Then I'm going to have to leave to go and pick up that samba kit that I spoke about because I'm teaching tomorrow afternoon at a primary school and I need a samba kit so I need to go and collect that. It's just like 20 minutes down the road from me so that should take up probably an hour to an hour and a half of my day with like collecting it and loading it in the car and stuff like that and then when I get back from collecting the samba kit I'm gonna pack some orders so I have quite a few Etsy orders to get packed this is the pile here of Etsy orders and I also have a Shopify order to make which is a mug so we can do that together later as well. So before we get started with unboxing the glass tumblers and seeing what they look like and creating a design for those, I just really want to quickly show you these gorgeous little earrings that I've got in. Hopefully you can see them, but these gorgeous little heart studs are from Alice and Lizzie. I will of course link her down below. It's focusing like on my eyes, but I want it to focus on my earring. Maybe if I do this, it'll do it. There we go. How cute are they? And I believe they're sterling silver at the back. 
but they're these gorgeous black and polka dot love heart earrings i'm obsessed with them and she also really kindly sent me another pair she messaged me on instagram saying that she watches my studio vlogs and she'd love to send me some of her earrings and i was like oh my gosh of course yes please um so she sent me these gorgeous little heart studs and also she sent me in this lovely little box these polka dot dalmatian earrings that look like this how cute are they i am obsessed so they're quite big i was debating whether to wear these today but i thought i'll go for the studs um i'll probably wear these like if i go out for the day somewhere rather than just wearing them at home or i might wear them like at craft markets and stuff and she also sent me a lovely little note that says to millie i've been following you on social media for a while now and it's great to see how your business is flourishing i started alice lizzie in 2020 while studying fashion design at uni and it's continued to be a large part of my life excitingly i'm now participating in more and more craft fairs to expand my reach i've included for you two of my best sellers both of which are from the lottie collection inspired by my childhood dalmatian i hope you like them and she's put at the bottom ps for yourself and your followers here is a 15% discount code so if you use this code on the screen now which is millie 15 you can get 15% off any orders placed with alice lizzie so i just wanted to say again thank you so much for these gorgeous earrings i'm so excited to share them with you guys because i feel like you are going to absolutely love these so i'll leave all the links to alice lizzie and her shop and stuff down below so you can check them out so let's get these glass tumblers unboxed so i've only ordered a handful of them for now just to like test them out if they go well i'm then going to order some more and make up some stock for the craft market that i spoke about that's on the 4th of may so let's open them up and see what they look like oh that's so good so they've each come packaged in their own white box which is amazing i was crossing my fingers and hoping that they did because then i could use these as the packaging boxes Oh, they're the perfect size. I can't remember exactly what size I went for, but I'll leave it on the screen to let you guys know. I've got a lovely glass straw with them as well, which is like super sturdy. So the glass tumblers just look like this. You've probably seen these on other people's vlogs and stuff because I know a lot of people are trialing out these at the moment and I can totally see why because one we're in an iced coffee girl era especially me and they're just so like aesthetically pleasing like with the wooden lid and the straw let's put the straw in this noise oh, it's so good and then the straw will go through the top like this so we're gonna test out sublimating onto these glass tumblers who knows how it's gonna go it's gonna be an experiment to say the least first things first i need to figure out the dimensions for this glass tumbler and create a design to test sublimating onto them i would love to test a wraparound design so i might see if i can turn my self-love affirmations design that i have for my mugs into a glass tumbler design i'm gonna see if that would work i may need to add a few more illustrations to it though yeah i'm gonna get to work on my computer now and create a design to test on these glass tumblers so on canva i found on here i just googled 16 ounce glass tumbler wrap template because it's the 16 ounce ones that i've got and i found this with some dimensions so i put these um dimensions into canva and my self-love affirmations design did actually fit pretty well. I've just added some extra of the sparkles and stars to kind of fill the edges. I'm just not sure if when I put this on the glass tumbler, whether there's gonna to be too much of a gap um, where the design meets, if that makes sense. So we'll just have to experiment and have a go. Otis is squeaking his ball in the background and squishing it in his mouth. So sorry if you can hear that. <laughs> But what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this because obviously it gets mirrored when it's printed and we're going to sublimate this on a glass tumbler and see what happens. <laughs> So I've taken 
taken the straw and the wooden lid off because when it goes into the mug press I don't want these to be damaged so I'm just going to leave them off for now. So I think I want to put it so that it's um, right on the straight bit so you can see how it dips in here and at the bottom it also curves. So I want the print to just be on the flat bit obviously because if it goes onto the curved bit then it's not going to press correctly and it will fade. So I want to make sure that the wrap is on the straight bit. And the good thing about this sublimation paper is you can kind of see the design through the paper so you can judge where it is going to print which is really handy. So I'm just going to go around and make sure that I'm happy with how it's looking. I might just move it down slightly. Okay, I'm happy with that so I'm just going to start taping it down. Okay, so it's all taped on. The only thing that I am worried about is what I said earlier, is that this bit's just going to look a bit plain because there is a gap. But I don't know, I feel like on most glass tumblers there is a gap like this when it's not a complete wrap design. Um, I think it's okay to have a bit of a gap, whereas if it was like a joint design, if you know what I mean, then you obviously wouldn't want a gap. <laughs> I don't know if that made sense. It makes sense in my head. But we can just see what it looks like once we've pressed it. So I'm going to warm up the mug press now and get this in and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, the press is ready. I've put it at 200 degrees Celsius for 90 seconds. I don't know why the camera makes this, I don't know, like this. It's not like that in real life, it's just the camera. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is put the glass tumbler in with the seam part facing up and I'm gonna press it like this for 90 seconds and then I'm gonna roll it so that the seam is at the bottom and do it for another 90. Are you waiting too? You want to see what it looks like? Another yawn. All this dog does is yawn. We did have a good long walkies this morning though, didn't we? Oh! Okay, it's out. Let's peel it and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh. It's literally not done anything. What the heck? No, what have I done? Can I not sublimate onto these? I swear I could. Well, you learn something new every day. What an epic fail. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, the glass cans that I ordered were perfect, but I didn't realise, obviously I'm really new to sublimation, I didn't realise that when you sublimate onto glass, the glass has to have a sublimation coating on it to make it suitable to be sublimated onto. And these glass cans that I've bought, I actually got them off eBay, a seller on eBay, and I just contacted them and said, like, can I return these because they're not suitable for what I bought them for. Like, I wanted to sublimate onto them and they obviously don't have a coating on them. And they said, like, yeah, they don't have a coating on them. They're just glass. So, yeah, that's great. I bought the wrong glass tumblers. But it's okay because I'll be able to return those. And I'm now going to look for some proper sublimation glass cans that do have the coating on them. And then we can try those in next week's vlog. Which will hopefully turn out a lot better than what we just did there, which was achieve absolutely nothing because I'm an idiot and ordered the wrong thing. So yeah, you live and you learn. If you want to sublimate onto glass tumblers, make sure they have that special sublimation coating. There's loads out there. I'm just looking now on Amazon. There's quite a few, but I'm gonna see if I can find them for a little bit cheaper elsewhere because they do seem to be quite expensive but it's a product that I've wanted to bring to the shop for ages so I'm determined to find some correct glass can tumblers to sublimate onto. I was really annoyed with myself because I thought yeah I'm gonna film a vlog today because we're gonna test out and make the glass tumblers which will be really interesting for you guys and it's just not worked out that way and it was in it 
it was just a complete fail. And I even debated like scrapping this vlog and just filming tomorrow or something or the day after. But I thought not everything that you do as a business owner goes to plan. Like these things happen. And if I hadn't have vlogged this today, that would have just happened behind the scenes. And I probably wouldn't have even told anyone about it. I don't know. It's, it's not like I'm embarrassed by it, but I'd just be like, oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Why did I do that? But because I have vlogged it, I am going to still put this vlog out there and hopefully you guys learn something too to make sure that if you're sublimating onto glass that it does have a coating on it um but these things do happen unfortunately and i just i'm keeping this in because i'm keeping it real and yeah today has been a waste so far <laughs> There will be no glass tumblers today, which is a bit of a bummer, but I'm going to sit down now, like I said, and find some to order and hopefully we can try those again next week and they should work, fingers crossed. So what I'm going to do now is, as you can see here, I have this massive box in my office. This is my craft market display that I spoke about earlier. So we're going to take that into the garage, open it together and put the first coat of paint on it. It's a really nice day today outside. Oh, I need to hang the washing out actually as well. I'm going to do that first. Let's put the washing out and then we're going to go in the garage and put the first coat of paint on my craft market display and open it up and see what it looks like, which is super exciting. In. hopefully that will boost me up a little bit after my disastrous morning but anyway let's put that aside now and forget about it and let's see what this craft market display looks like <laughs> to make some lunch before I go into the garage and I just wanted to show you what I'm having so me and Lewis recently got an air fryer and I've been making omelettes in it for my lunches so I've just got two eggs in here with some red pepper spinach spring onions and some grated mozzarella and cheddar salt and pepper and I literally just mix it up and then I literally just pour it into the air fryer I line it with some parchment paper And I put it on 190 for 11 minutes and then you just leave it in there and I'll have an omelette. It's done! I'm gonna take this out, eat it and watch a studio vlog as a little lunch break and then we're gonna go in the garage and get the craft market display painted. Welcome to my garage. Basically, like I said earlier, we've been really busy the past few weeks because we've had a skip at the bungalow and basically when we moved in, stuff that we didn't know what to do with yet or just didn't know where to put, we just bunged it all in the garage. And because we've been here well over a year now, like a year and a half, we just really needed to sort it all out and the easiest way to do it was to just get a skip, just bung everything in it that we don't want. We cleared a load of stuff out in the bungalow as well. We spent a good few days organising the garage and it's now so much better. So at the back here, I've got this corner shelving unit and Lewis has his own corner shelving unit there as well with all his like drum kit and all his manly car washing bits and stuff. This is my corner where I keep all my craft market stuff and also any stock. So I've got like some mugs in here and stuff that just took up a lot of room in the office. So I can basically use this as a bit of a stock keeping unit and also obviously to store all my craft market bits. I'm gonna show you a couple of bits that I've painted up already because basically I had a couple of wooden bits on my craft market display and I thought it would just be really cute to paint them pink. So I went to, I think it was B&Q, was it home base? No. B and Q and I picked like my ideal colour so I'm going to show you what I've painted so far so I actually got this new from B&M it was like a wooden spice 
um, rack, I think, to put in your cupboards. But I thought this would be really good to lay stickers on. But I think I'm going to lay my stickers out on it. Because previously I was just using a tray that I put all my stickers in. But they used to get like really muddled up and stuff. So I think on here I can really like section them out. And just lay them on here as like a tiered display unit. And it also extends out as well like this. So there's loads of room in here. I'll be able to fit so many more stickers in here than I would have done in the tray that I was using before. So that's the first thing I painted and it's the perfect like baby pink. I think it will look so nice on my table. So that was the first thing. And then the second thing I painted was my sticker display board. So if you've seen me at craft markets before, you'll know that this was just like a wooden sticker display and I blue tack the stickers on it so that people can see all the stickers on here and then I'll have that tiered shelving unit sat just beneath it so people can then take whatever sticker they want. So this was wooden before, but I've now painted it pink too. So that just sits up on my table so people can see all the die cut stickers. And then the new big craft market display that I've got is in this massive box here. So I'm going to quickly unbox it and I'll show you what it looks like once I've got it all laid out. So I've got the box open and I'll just show you quickly what we've got in it. I'm so impressed with the quality of this, like how well it's made. I bought sandpaper and things in case I needed to sand the wood but it's so smooth. I'm really impressed with this. So these are the legs that the arch will stand on. And then we've got some shorter shelves as well that will be able to sit on the arch, which will be really handy. And then we've got a couple of longer shelves as well. So that'll be good for notepads or anything really. I need to have a proper think about how I'm gonna use this display, but I'm sure I'll be utilizing the whole space. And then in here I can feel we have the pegs because it is like a bit of a pegboard. And then here, oh my gosh, it is massive. Jeez, this is going to be so good. If I can get it out properly. There it is. That is it in comparison to me. It's huge. That is going to be amazing. So then basically you put the pegs in the holes longer shelving here shorter ones up there or you can just use the pegs then as like hooks to hang key rings on or anything this is going to be incredible so yeah i need to get the first coat of paint on here i feel like it's a shame to paint it almost because it's so beautiful like the wooden finish but i do definitely want it pink so i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to get the first coat of paint on this big arch for now and then I'm going to paint all the little bits, like the shelves and the pegs, later on or another day, I think. I'm just going to get the first coat of paint on this, the actual pegboard. So, yeah, let's crack on and get that done. So, I'm actually using furniture paint for this, but I basically said to the guy behind the counter, I was like, this is what I want to paint. And I showed him a picture of it. And he basically said, yeah, this will be fine for what you need it for. I explained that I need it to be kind of like weatherproof for outdoor markets and stuff. So it's just furniture paint, matte finish in the colour pink petticoat, which is the one I went for. But they had so many different colours. It was a bit overwhelming, but that's the one I went for. So I'm just going to quickly do the first coat of paint um, and I'll just time lapse this bit. <laughs> For a first coat I'm pretty happy with that, there's just like some paint that's gone in the holes a little bit so I might just, well I think when I put the pegs through them to be honest I'll just chip off if there's any like big clumps but I'm going to let this dry and then I might come back to this later to do another coat or I might just do it tomorrow but yeah I just wanted to make sure I got the first coat on this big pegboard part at least for today. <laughs> Right guys, I'm now in the car, I'm about to head off to 
collect the samba kit ready for my teaching tomorrow afternoon i've got to drive about a 20 minute drive from now then collect them and load them in the car and then i've got another 20 minute drive back i think i'm going to stop at the supermarket i think i'm going to go to lidl on the way back from collecting the samba kit to get something for tea later for me and lewis something to put in the air fryer something nice and easy so yeah i'll bring you along with me for that too i'm gonna head off now and i'll catch up with you when i'm back from my little errand trip <laughs> Hi guys, I'm now back from Lidl and collecting my Samba kit and it's now 10 past 3 so I've actually been gone for well over like an hour, almost two hours but it's okay, this is what happens sometimes when you're working from home like things just clash and you don't get as much done as you think you will but anyway, I thought I'd show you what I got from Lidl because I'm very excited about tonight's dinner so we're going to have um, teriyaki chicken thigh fillets with sticky rice we already have all the stuff for the teriyaki sauce but I just needed to pick up some ginger and garlic so I got those and then in Lidl they had these like creme caramel things that I thought looked really nice so I got a couple of those I might have one after tea I got some raisins because Lewis likes snacking on them and some soft pitted dates because he likes those as well and then I saw this and couldn't resist praline milk chocolate which I'm gonna have a little bit of now with a cup of tea but yeah, that's my little little haul. And I got some fry light for the air fryer. Just because that might come in handy. I basically just needed to get stuff for dinner, but I ended up getting this stuff as well. But that always happens, doesn't it? This chocolate, oh my gosh, it literally tastes like Ferrero Rocher as a chocolate bar. Oh my God. to sign the vlog off for today so the last thing you saw was me having tea or making tea i did teriyaki chicken with sticky rice and some spring onions on the top and it was so good i think what makes it is that i use chicken thighs i've started using thighs instead of breasts in like everything i cook because they're just so much more they're just a lot more juicier um so yeah that was delicious and I'll start back in my office. I'm not going to do any more work for today. But during the day, a really exciting package was delivered. Some of you may recognise this tape. Do you recognise it? Do you not? If you don't, you should. This is from Blushed Designs Co, the lovely Mia. She does loads of tufted goodies and she specialises in like punch needling. And I've never delved into punch needle. I don't think I'll ever punch needle for items on my shop or anything like that. But I love the look of it as like a hobby. And she recently came out with some punch needle boxes where you can make your own mug rug. So like little coaster, punch needle coaster. So I ordered one and it's arrived. So we're gonna open it now quickly. Oh my gosh, this is so surreal to me because like, I've seen Mia pack them on her vlogs. She does studio vlogs as well, they're amazing. So it's like surreal to have one in my hands, but this is the 
Daisy Mugrug Punch Needle Kit, Blush Designs Co. So how cute is that packaging? And then it's packaged so well, a little tissue paper in there. And then inside we've got a super cute freebie sticker. I love that so much. And a cute little thank you card that says, don't stress, do your best, with some details on the back. It says, thank you, Millie. And then inside, we've got the punch needle kit, which looks so fun. So you've got the hoop to punch needle the design on. So this is the design and with the different colors on it. And then you get some instructions as well. It looks like there's a QR code. I think she said in one of her vlogs that she's done a video tutorial to follow as well, which will be super handy. And then you obviously get the punch needle, which is amazing. And the different color of the wool as well. I can't tell you guys how excited I am to do this. Thank you so much Mia for this. It's just such a fun idea and I really think I'll be able to just zone out and just really fully relax when I do this. I really wanna take my time with it. Um, I'll keep you guys updated as to when I finish it and things and I'll definitely show you. But Mia does sell these on her shop. She is from Canada, but it came so quickly, like less than two weeks, which I was amazed with. So don't let that put you off if you are from the UK as well. Yeah, I just literally can't wait. I just wanted to show you that and unbox it for you guys. So I'm gonna leave the vlog here for today. I really hope you've enjoyed coming along with me for a full day in the life. I'm just gonna go on the sofa now and chill with Lewis and Otis. I think we're gonna watch some people Peaky Blinders because we've been re-watching that. Um, it's amazing. Watch it if you haven't. It's quite gory though, just FYI if you don't know what Peaky Blinders is. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to have a chilled one tonight. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully next week we'll try the glass tumblers again and we'll be a bit more successful than today. But again, I just wanted to show you guys the realities. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you are new here, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future videos. I do upload vlogs like this every week to this channel as well as other videos like tips and tricks and all things small business related and if you could give this video a like if you enjoyed it as well that would really help me to know that you enjoyed this video and it helps to push them out to other people who like this kind of stuff too thank you so much for joining me and hopefully i'll see you very soon in the next one bye guys Ooh.